They call me FDZ, but for real, I'm just Fifi, but for real, you can't see me like the back of the top of the tip of the TP. <laughs> My name's Felicia Dunson, but the Z is just kind of like the swag on it, honestly. A lot of people ask me, like, so what's the Z stand for? Like, it doesn't stand for anything. I am a graffiti pop artist with influence from fashion and music. So I have a fine arts background, but I have a hip hop culture. I feel like I, I came through an era of, of liberation coming from the 80s living through the 90s, you know, it was really like all about color, you know? So color is very, very important to me. My intention is to separate graffiti art from vandalism. Vandalism is a bad thing. You shouldn't be damaging property. Just because you have a spray paint can in your hand doesn't mean that you're a graffiti artist. But the cool thing about graffiti art is there is a level of informality that's okay. And it's so representative of the culture now. People appreciate it, people want it. I had done like a few things in the past, but the majority of the murals I've done have been in the past six months. In 2020, there's been a ton of opportunities for artists. I think anytime the, a nation is going through a uh, really hard time, I think everybody needs it. Everybody needs the artist to kind of step up to the plate and, you know, express that. So that's the Summer Spray Project, which was a really awesome concept put on by the Short North Arts District, where there was a different artist every weekend this entire summer. And I had the honor of being the last. And the particular concept that we were all painting about was it was all based on unity. I knew I wanted my piece to encompass the concept of achieving unity from within. So within that particular mural, it says things like try understanding, try love, try forgiveness, try forgiving yourself and check your ego. I think if you can fix something within yourself, you can go about the world being a better person, and if everybody does that, then they can really enlighten our society as a whole. In a lot of my art pieces, you'll see like these empty thought bubbles, and the thought bubbles are about how a lot of people are talking, but they're not saying anything. And so that's why there's a lot of them, but they're all empty. A lot of times people expect art to tell them what to think to tell them what to feel, to give them definition, where the empty thought bubbles is really like me giving you an opportunity. It's asking you like, you know, what do you have to say? But it requires people to self-reflect, to fill in that empty space. I aspire to start a campaign about how to properly dispose of cans because they can be really bad for the environment and, and they're actually kind of dangerous too. It's pressurized, flammable chemicals. So they should be disposed of properly, but I'm in the works of upcycling every single part of the can and creating art out of that. So it was something I've always had in the back of my mind. That little can was just sitting on my shoulder. It's like, hey, make me, make me. <laughs> the way that I paint the can, it's an organized chaos. I literally put a nail on a board and I just smash it down on there and then the paint comes flying out of it. And I used that paint to paint other stuff. And I utilize every last drop of paint in the can. So I make a mess and then I make it beautiful. I think it's really fun to create like this three-dimensional character. And they're all about facial expression. Everybody likes cartoons. And if you could bring a cartoon to life, you love it. 
I use uh, air drying clay. I actually paint with the colors. First time I worked with that, I was a kid, and I just thought it was really cool that it dried as a foam. That's another thing, it's like I really am in tune with my childhood, and so I draw a lot of inspiration of, of joy from that. My mission through my art not only is to portray graffiti art as a fine art form, but I want my art to make people feel uplifted. I want them to look at it and feel happy or laugh. Being a black woman artist, being a double minority, I have a tendency to kind of shock people when I tell them who I am and what I do because it's like, oh, you're a woman. You're probably not, blah, 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 blah. Or, oh, you're, you're a black person. You probably don't do these things. So I think what's really cool about being sort of like this underdog is the opportunity that you have when you really shine. Mm -hmm.